guys, it's Sandy Missouri from Balloon Utopia and Market with Balloons. And today we are going to make an ice cream shake. You guys told me you wanted to learn this and here it is. We've got something that's a little bit challenging and that is that we are using a six pack. So up until now, most of the things that we've done have been based on four balloons, a four pack. But today we're doing a six pack. So quickly, I just wanna show you how we do that. So you guys know how to make a duplet, which is tying two balloons together. And you know how to make a quad, which is taking a duplet and taking another duplet and twisting them together like that. The way that we make a six pack is by adding in a third duplet and twisting it together. Just like that, kind of looks like a Willy Wonka uh, everlasting gobstoppery type thing. So the reason that this becomes a challenge is because it can be a little bit hard to get it established for the first few uh, layers. And for this particular design, we are going to be using balloons of different sizes. We've got 16 inch balloons, we've got 11 inch balloons, and we've got five inch balloons. So we're gonna start with 16 inch balloons. Uh, we, these are silver, which you can tell. Um, and they are inflated to about, I'm gonna say, uh, probably about 13 inches. Okay, we still got some good squish factor to them. Okay, and you're okay. gonna see I'm gonna wrestle with this. Okay, let's talk about my stand for a second because you guys are always asking me about the stand. This is a lamp base. Um, I've added a couple of extra sections to it to make it taller, and I would not use this for outdoors, ever. It's, it's Even though the weight is pretty good, the footprint is not wide enough for outdoors. It'll just go over. So here we go, we're gonna wrestle with this. <clears throat> the first cluster is the hardest, and by the third cluster, it gets a bit easier. Once you get it flattened, you wanna make sure that you twist a couple okay. of balloons so that you're securing it and locking it down on the pole. So you see, right here is where the pole is coming through, and I'm just gonna flip one balloon over the other, and now it's locked. Now, you see that these balloons wanna pop out. They don't wanna just flatten nicely. That is the challenge of working with a six pack. Once you get the counter pressure from the next layer, so these are 11 inch balloons. They are sized to about six inches. And once I put this layer on, it'll kind of lock it down and then it'll be easier to go from there. All right, so these are, again, under inflated 11 inch balloons. You see they're really super squishy. And you see that we're getting kind of a lot of pressure coming up from it. Okay, so now if you picture your, you know, your old your... 50s style floats uh, or, or shakes, you know, they kind of have that glass yeah. shape. So that's what we're trying to create here. So these are also 11 inch balloons. These ones are sized to about five inches. So we're gonna kind of go in a little bit here. Now, you may be wondering, well, why can't we just use a four pack for this? And the reason that we're using a six pack and not a four pack is because six makes it round, whereas four makes it a little bit more squarish. All right, so now we're going back up to our six inch size here. Like that, so you see we're starting to get that flare out. <laughs> yeah, then this one. Okay, and this is the same size. We're, we're still at that six inch. We're gonna go up kind of slowly. Now, one of the things is that you do wanna make sure when you're using a six pack that you twist it together so that it's pretty tight and not very stringy because if it's stringy, one balloon's gonna kinda like hang out and not really like get sucked in where it needs to be. Okay, and now we're going up to a seven inch, so we're just at kind of incrementally increasing our sizes so that we have that gradual kind of V-shaping of, uh, of the design. And if it is a little bit stringy and a little bit loose, then you can just wrap your pieces around each other more. Now, one thing that we did not do, but if for some reason you're doing this on a floor lamp, I do suggest that you put some electrical tape on the um, connect, you know, where they screw together, and that way you won't accidentally untwist it as you're manipulating everything around. So we can start to see that shape taking, taking uh, effect here. 
And now we're going up to about an eight inch balloon. And again, we're still using 11 inch balloons. Uh, we're just changing what the size that they're inflated to. And that first layer was a 16 inch balloon that was under inflated, just to, just to be clear, because I don't want to get a bunch of comments going, but Sandy, I can't find the 14 inch balloons anywhere. They don't make 14 inch balloons. They're 16 inch under inflated. And now we're gonna come up a little bit more. I would say that now we're getting to probably about a nine inch balloon here. All right, this is gonna be our second to last 11 inch balloon. This one's probably inflated to about nine and a half, maybe 10 inches. And you see, <laughs> once it gets about as tall as you, it gets kind of complicated to do again. <laughs> it wants to pop out of place and it wants to fight you. And here we have our last set of 11 inch balloons. And I would say that these are pretty much more or less fully inflated, uh, probably about 10 and a half inches. If you get the book, The DIY Balloon Bible Themes and Dreams, it'll have the, the exact uh, size recipe in there. We'll have these all measured and, and, and uh, you know, officially calculated for you. But the important thing is that, you're, is that you're just going up incrementally. So if you're using a sizer box, just incrementally go up. If you're using a, a machine, you know, then we're just kind of popping it up by a couple tenths of a second each time. Okay, so now we're back at 16 inch balloons. So these are 16 inch balloons, balloons that are inflated to about 12 inches. We're gonna go up one more size after this and then we're gonna kind of come in again. See? And so now you can really start to see that shape taking effect. Okay, now we are on 11 inch balloons. We're back to about a four, I'm sorry, 16 inch balloons. And we're back to about a 14 inch, just like that first cluster. So now we've finished the, the glass of the, of the shake and now we're getting to the whipped cream. And this is like a, a full body sport here. You, you're using every body part to, to do that. All right, and now we're going back down to like a, a 12. Um, again, this is still a 16 inch balloon, but very underinflated. You can see how, how good and squishy it is. All right, and this is going to be our last cluster. Here we've gone back down to about a seven inch balloon. Um, these are 11 inch balloons that are under inflated. So now we've gone back to the 11 inches and inflate it to about seven inches. And this is going to be the top of our whipped cream. This last cluster here can sometimes be really grouchy. It like kind of really wants to fight you sometimes. This is cool, but it looks like something's missing, doesn't it? Right, I mean, what is the shake without a cherry on top? Here we got our cherry. It's just an 11 inch balloon. The size does not matter. <laughs> So I literally just blew it up. Um, I would say that I have this one inflated to about seven inches, but that's just by chance. It does not have to be that size. I'm taking half of a 260 and I'm tying it around this just like so, like that. And then I'm going to- I'm just gonna bring it in, separate my two sides here, and then kind of shove my hands in there and tie it around the pole. So it's also serving the purpose of securing everything in together. Now we could just leave it like this and it'd be cool. But wait, there's more. A couple more cool little details to add. One is that we wanna have our straw. We're gonna add that last though. Now what we're gonna do is we wanna make some like drip, right? A little bit of whipped cream drip. So we're doing this by using five inch balloons that we're just randomly inflating to various sizes. Okay, so, and I, and I do them in twos and threes and fours, 
And we're just going to kind of, you know, however, however they go, we're not trying to size them perfectly. It doesn't, it doesn't matter in this case because this is not supposed to look uniform and controlled. It's supposed to look like nature and messy and, you know, like an actual balloon shake. <laughs> so you see, I have, I have some threes, I have some fours. And again, I'm gonna take that half 260 and I'm gonna just kind of tie it here and I'm just gonna kind of like make a little cluster of them and I'm just going to, let's see, I'm gonna tie it in here and then, and then you kind of look at it and go, okay, what else do I need? So I'm shoving my hands in here and I'm tying that, that 260 to the pole. That's what's going on in there. Tying it to the pole. Like that, okay. And now I want a little bit more drip than that. So now I'm gonna tie this piece of a 260. So again, this is just half of a 260. I'm gonna tie it to one of the nozzles in the five inch balloon. And then I'm gonna take another set of five inch balloons. I'm gonna tie the other side to another nozzle from the other one, okay? And now I'm just gonna take this and just kinda like wrap it in there so that I can kinda just get some, some different shapes. And then I kinda look at it and go, huh, do I like that? And I'm looking at it going, no, I think I need one more right there, just kinda hang down. So there we go. That's the drip. And it's gonna look different every time, and that's okay. Okay, and now we'll kind of put the drip on this side a little bit. And here's our 260. Um, I would say that I inflated about three quarters of the way, and I'm just gonna cut off the end here. A lot of times, I'll leave the end in case I do need to tie it in to make it secure. But right now, I'm not going to. I'm just going to kind of stick it in. So, there we go. That is your giant ice cream float. How cute is that, right? I'm telling you, this one, you make it, and like people go nuts. They go nuts. So, I hope you like it. And if you do, please give me some love. Click that like button, subscribe to my channel, tell all your friends to subscribe to my channel, tell them to tell their friends to subscribe to the channel, go to Amazon and get my books of which this is in the new one, the DIY Balloon Bible Themes and Dreams. Leave me a comment, tell me what else you wanna learn. So until next time, go forth 